Hello and welcome to The Big Picture here on RCTV. My name is Kevin Vent. I am the host of The Big Picture, and it's great to have you here today. On The Big Picture, we talk about sports. And why do we talk about sports? Well, we don't really know anything about anything else, so that's what we're here to do. So my name is Kevin Vent. As I said, I am the host, and I'm here today with my guest, Nick Face from Sports Zone 101. I'm wearing the new shirt. You are. I hope that's okay. That's fine, yeah. Sports Zone 101, um, which is, uh, what do you do with that? Well, we're getting ready for summer. Okay, you do, it's, a, it's, it's a youth of, sports thing, as of right? Tuesday, so it's youth yeah. sports. So come on down. Town of Reading has a lot of great things. Uh -huh. Another town's too. All right, so. great. So we're not talking about that today, but <laughs> but we just wanted to give you a little pub there. So that's good. All right, so we have several things we want to talk about today. I want to jump yep. right into it without a whole lot of uh, uh, fanfare, but we're going to start talking about uh, the baseball All Star Game is sure coming do. up in a few weeks. And uh, the fan voting is out there, and, and a lot of people have a lot of different uh, opinions about fan voting. I personally like it, and, this, like is, it. and this is why. Because right. the All-Star game was originally intended as a fans game. It is. You know, so it's supposed to be the players that the fans want to see. That's, that's not always necessarily the player that's having the best season. Well, that, that's definitely true, too. And what they also try to do to fit in is that every team's represented. Yes, yes. That's the thing that gets a little tricky with right. that fan voting, where you have yes. to take the top and then break it down right. team by team. Yeah, I've always thought, who cares if they expand the rosters a little bit for the All-Star game, you yep. know, so that every team can be represented, but also they get all the fan votes in. So I, th right. I think they can do a lot with that. Every year there's, there's, there's someone griping about, oh, so-and-so should have gotten it instead of so-and-so. Exactly. So what I thought we would do is, is uh, we're here a few weeks away from, from I think actually, actually voting ends next week. Yep, um, June 30th. June yes. 30th. So, yes. so uh, when this is on the air, sometime it'll be before, but sometime it'll be after. We're, you and I are going to give um, our list of who we think. We want to be as correct as possible. As correct as possible who we think. And I'm going to be forward and upfront with my list. That my list isn't always the player who's having the best season. Perfect. Sometimes it's just that even though he's not having the better season this year, he is the best whatever. Absolutely. You know, and so that's why I chose him. So I want to start off. We're going to start with the American League. Sure. And we're going to start off. We're just going to run down the positions. Love to. So we'll start off with first base. Who was your first baseman? Well, leading the votes right now, Kansas City fans love the All-Star game. Yes, they For do. For some <laughs> reason, you know, we'll get to second base in a minute. We'll talk about that. Right. I have. But um, Eric Hosmer is leading right now. Yes, he is. That's not really that big, that big name that you look for at first mm -hmm. base. Who I'm looking at? Miguel Cabrera. Yeah, me too. I had Miguel Cabrera, and this is one of those cases where his stats are comparable with Eric Cosmer, but everybody knows Miguel Cabrera is the best hitter in the league. Of course. Everybody knows it. So so why not just put him in there? I would hope that that's a no-brainer, and I think that by I the end of next so. week we'll see that. Yeah. Just for comparison, Cabrera is hitting 305, 15 home runs, 43 RBIs. Yep. Cosmer's 306, 12 home runs, 44 RBIs. Right. They're virtually identical. Yep. Um, Cabrera's OPS is a little higher, 916 yep. versus 867. But, but I want to see Cabrera. As a fan right. who doesn't have a horse in the race because – the Red Sox first baseman is not going to be. Batting seventh tonight. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh, so it's not having a horse in the race. I want to see the best player possible. I do too. And to me, it's Miguel Cabrera. I like Miguel Cabrera. Second base. Now that's a tough one because there, there there's is, a lot of guys having good seasons. There, there is there a, 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 an embarrassment of riches at second base both in both yeah. leagues, actually, but particularly in the American League. There are four I, or five guys you, that could be all-stars this year. The one person who I've always liked and I've always kind of had that thing for okay. is Altuve. Okay. The Astros. Yep. I love his play. Altuve is having a fantastic, fantastic season. Fantastic season. And it's tough to take that away from Pedroia yep. and Cano. Yep. But the edge, I feel, goes to Altuve. Okay. And it represents the Astros who are having kind of a down year. Sure, sure. I like Altuve. 342, 11 home runs, 40 yep. RBIs. Having a terrific season. 18 stolen bases also for Altuve. Yes. Yes. I went again with... Who do I really think is the best second baseman? Right. And I said Cano. Yeah. Altuve may be there in a year or two, but he's not yeah. there yet. If you, you know, so I went with uh, Cano. I can definitely make that case. You too. know, but I, I could totally make the case for, for, for Altuve. You know, sure. Cano is hitting 301, 19 home runs, 53 RBIs. Could be the, one of the comeback players of the year. Could be one of the comeback players of the year. I also put uh, Ian Kinsler up there as a possibility. He's good one and of too. course, Pedroia. Yeah. Um, but as I said, an embarrassment of riches at second base. It right. seems like second base is the it position. Uh, this th year, yes. There's a lot of great second yes. basemen, so I could absolutely see uh, Altuve. Um, I went with Cano. Good. Shortstop, I think it's a no-brainer. If it's not Xander, <laughs> I think we'll have a yeah. lot of controversy. By the way, this right is here. not a homer thing absolutely either. Absolutely This not. is not a homer thing. This is by far and away the best to shortstop in the American League. To not have him be your starting shortstop yep. would be highway robbery. It, it really absolutely would, would be. be. Leading the league in hitting, yep. um, you know he's hitting three forty seven as we hit right hits, now. One hits, I believe, as of today. One hundred hits as of today. And that, that's the most hits that are in the American League yep. in all of baseball. In all of baseball, right most now, hits. Yep. Just 
incredible. And plays a decent, though not spectacular, shortstop yes, defensively. Very steady. Very steady. Very steady. Very steady. Other shortstops you could have, Desmond from Texas. Yes. Uh, Linder, Francisco Linder from Cleveland. Yeah. Uh, Nunez from Minnesota. But they really only... They're, they're, they're all having good seasons. The, the one that I would put as honorable mention would probably be Nunez. Nunez, Just because yep. the Twins need some sort of representative. Twins need somebody. My guess, might be their guy. My guess is, is Nunez makes the all-star That's team as I'm a thinking. backup as their guy. Yep. That's the, I think that makes sense because huh? they don't really have anybody else who's going to be even no, close. No, not so my guess is, is Bogarts wins it going right. away in terms of the fan vote, and Definitely. then Nunez is one of your backups, probably Definitely. your second backup in there. Excellent. I also think third base is a no-brainer. Manny Machado. Manny Machado. As much as I hate to say it, you know, the hated Baltimore Orioles. Exactly. But. He has that arrogance to him where mm-hmm. when you watch him play, he's like, you know, I wish he was a Red Sox player. Yeah. I wish he yeah. was because we'd be all fans of his. Yeah. But he's that type of guy where he's playing for another team. I just can't root for him. Yeah. He has that get under your skin kind of Especially feeling. Especially being in the American League East. It's hard to root yeah. for a guy who's it's in the American difficult. League East. Very <laughs> difficult. But you can't take away his skill. Right. Plus the fact he's a gamer. I mean, yep. he goes out there 162 games a year. And he is an excellent defensive third baseman oh, phenomenal. as well. Phenomenal so, defense, so, yeah. so, I mean, I, I agree. I think he's a kind of going away at third base. Um, a couple of honorable mentions. I think you got to put Donaldson you in. Have to. The reigning MVP. Yeah. Uh, and he's not having a terrible season. He's in 274, no. but he's got 17 no. home runs. Um, 946 OPS, which is pretty pretty good. Yeah. Um, and I said Escobar from L.A. also. Okay. Um, the L.A. Angels. I think the L.A. Angels are going to have a starter, so you don't have to worry right. about that one guy. We'll get to that in just a moment. Now, but is Adrian Beltre injured? I, I, Beltre is injured. Because One of the things that I looked at is it, when I was thinking about it is I didn't put anybody down who's played less than 65 games that's true. in the season yeah. thus far. And that's that, so basically these players have to have played the entire time. There are, there are people sense. who are having good seasons yeah. but have only played 40 games or 30 games. Right. To me, they haven't, you know, to put them up against someone like an Escobar who's played the entire season. Well, he deserves it. He didn't deserve it. He's been out there every day. Every day um, so so I think, I think uh, Machado makes the all star team. I also think Escobar makes the team yeah. as the backup, but I think Machado is your obvious starter. Definitely. All right, outfielders. We need three of them. This is where we get possibly a little homerism going on. We <laughs> might, but there's one person particular on my list who okay. so everybody was up on at the beginning of this year, and then the month of June hit. Now it's just going downhill. Okay. And I think you probably know who I'm going to say. You're talking but about. I think the one that who's been steady and consistent uh-huh. is going to be Mookie Betts. Okay. I think Mookie's going to be that player who's going to be one of those starters. Okay. I have Mike Trout also in yep. the outfield As out do there. I. Yep. And here's a surprise it's not Jackie Bradley for really? me. Really? It's not. It's a dogfight between Mike Trumbo of okay. the Orioles yep. and Lorenzo Cain of the Royals. Ah, I don't have him on my list. Okay, yep. those are those are the ones because again, those Royal fans have sure. nothing better to do in life than go on their computer <laughs> and, and vote th- thirty-five times there's a day. Nothing else to do. Nothing in Kansas else to City. do there. The nothing entire else. state of Missouri. There's nothing else. That's to all do. they do. So. Uh, they so, will still figure out a way to get Omar Infante into right. the All Star game. So this is this is what I did because so. of the fan voting. Yep. Because of the fan voting, I see Trout is a no-brainer. Um, again, this is one of those. He's not necessarily having the best season, right. but he's without question the best player in the league. Yes, definitely. So, so I think Trout is a no-brainer. I think that JBJ is going to make it. I you think do. he's going to get okay. it on the fan vote. I think he got enough fan votes in yeah. May to be able to pull it through. I also think JBJ has a shot at your comeback player of the year if he plays continues to where he's I'm headed. I'm hoping so. You know, I'm um, because, I mean, he's kind of come – you know, this is the guy who we said if he can hit his weight – then with his defense, he'll be fine. And as right. of today, he's hitting 301 with 12 homers and 45 RBIs and 959 OPS. That, I understand June numbers. has been different than May, yes. but, but those are really good numbers. And I actually have bets, and this is my homerism. Yep. Right now, I'm going to flash it on the screen. Homerism. Yep. There it was. Okay. Yep. Homerism on the screen. Mookie Betts is yep. my third. Um, I just think he's a dynamic player. I really do. I love his skills. A couple of the other yep. guys I had listed. I had Trumbo um, okay. on my secondary list. Yeah. Um, he's only hitting 276. He's got 20 home runs, 51 RBIs. You can't that's, take those numbers. That's, away. Can't take it yeah. away. I put in Nelson Cruz from Seattle. Yeah, he he's very very quietly having a good quietly year. quietly having a good year. 282, 16 yeah. home runs, 46 RBIs, and then I had Saunders from Toronto. Michael Saunders is doing yeah. very well. Again, 308, 15 Might homers. Be their best player the only thing in their the only thing right Saunders now. is down on is the RBIs, but that's because everybody else is driving in runs on exactly. that team too. So, exactly. so he doesn't necessarily have that going. So we wow, we really okay. We only got a couple minutes left. Um, quickly, catcher. I think there's only really one. Salvador, Salvador Perez. Perez from KC. We're not Salvador even going to talk Perez. about it. Nobody else is even close. Yeah. DH, nobody else is even close. Ortiz. David Ortiz. <laughs> uh, 339, 18 homers, 59 RBIs. We're going to talk at some point in time, 1.120 OPS. We're going to talk at some point in time, is, is there a possibility of a triple crown in David Ortiz's future this year? He's, he's, well, he's second in home runs. He's first in RBIs. He's second yeah. in batting average. So that's something to come up on. Starting pitcher? 
I have this is this hard. Is, I actually have mine right now at Chris Sale. Hmm. I saw him last night pitch. I'm pretty impressed with what I see with the numbers. But you notice how I had Bradley off my list? Yeah. And there's a reason for that. Okay. Because Stephen Wright's making this all-star Stephen, team. Stephen Wright. Stephen I think Wright's Ste my guy that I – I give the Red Sox yeah. the edge on. I am totally with you. I think Chris Sale is your starting pitcher in the American League. The mm -hmm. the point nine nine whip does it for me. One hundred and two Ks. Um, but I also think Stephen Wright is making this All Star he team. Definitely is. I just yeah. had a third pitcher there, also Danny Salazar from Cleveland. One, two, three. Uh, yeah, there Same we go. Thing. Those are those are, those are three of them that yeah. I have. I didn't put any relievers on my list. I don't know if you did. Um, no, I didn't put any relievers didn't, didn't on my list. But the guy from the Orioles, Zach Britton, has to be an all-star. He's, he's, he's an excellent pitcher. He's had he's a been great season. This year. He's had a great season. Yep. Well, that is our American League, and we've only got like a minute or two left in this segment, so yep. we're not going to be able to do the National League. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to come back in the next segment sure. and talk National League. We may do an extra episode to talk about that some of the cool. other things. We that would be good. Yeah. So we're going to cut it right here, uh, even though we're a minute or two short, and we're going to talk about the National League All Stars in the second Sounds half. Good. All right, uh, my name is Kevin Vent. I am the host of The Big Picture. I'm here with Nick Face. We'll be back in just one moment. Hi, I'm John Doherty. I'm the superintendent in the Reading Public Schools, and you are watching RCTV. Welcome back to The Big Picture here on RCTV. I continue to be Kevin Penn, host of The Big Picture. This continues to be Nick Face whether returning like in, it or not. whether he likes it or not, from right. Sports Zone 101. And uh, we've been talking uh, baseball, specifically the yeah. All-Star game yeah. in the first half, and we talked about who we thought the American League All-Stars could be and should be yep. in the first half. And here in the second half, we're going to talk National League. A little more challenging. We're not as familiar with the National League. No, also, not. I don't think there are as many clear-cut all-star, clear-cut starters, as there yes. are in the American League. Yes. You know, it's certainly at shortstop, at third base, designated hitter. Um, I, in the American League, it was clear who the best guys are. Even in the outfield, you know, it's clear Mike Trout is the best player in baseball. Right. So, so some of them are pretty clear. In the National League, it gets a little fuzzier, I think, because I think yes. there's lots of guys to choose from necessarily. And there are some positions where they're just not having a particularly good year. No. As a position. And they don't have any fans who are Royals. <laughs> they don't have, over the National right. League. So. They don't have the Kansas City Royals to they try to vote them in. They might be leading leaderboards right now. That's right. That's right. So let's uh, jump into the National League. We're going to start sure. off right at the top again with first base. Who is your National League starter first baseman? This is tough, to tell you the Very truth. Very tough. It's tough because it's this down used between to be a, two players. To me, there's a dearth of good first basemen in the, Amer in the National League this year. I really like Paul Goldschmidt, mm. but I also like Anthony Rizzo. Ah, Anthony Rizzo, okay. But I'm really riding high on the Cubs right now, so I'm going to go yep. with Anthony Rizzo. Going with Anthony Rizzo from the Cubs. I think there's a chance. I think Anthony Rizzo will probably be the starter because of the Cubs, because yep. of the national interest in the Cubs, as well as they're selling the ballpark out every yep. day and that kind of thing. Um, I had Goldschmidt as my number two. Yep. Different number one, though. And this is a, a shocker because okay. I'm picking the person I think deserves it over who I think is actually going to get it? it. I'm interested. Will Myers from San Diego. Will Myers really? from San Diego is hitting 290, 16 home runs, 45 RBIs on a team that can't hit its way out of a paper bag with an 865 OPS. And he's actually statistically. Don Orsillo is going to be very mad at me. Yeah, because, he's statistically yeah. the best first baseman in the That's National a, I League. I didn't even know that. Yeah, and he's, he's ahead of Rizzo statistically. Okay. Um, so uh, I had Goldschmidt as my number two, actually, and Rizzo as my number three. Wow. Um, no, no, this is me taking the stats versus what I think is going to happen. Hmm. What I think is going to happen is Rizzo. But, but based on the stats, I'm picking a, that's, my, that's my ringer, so to speak. I um, like that choice. He's to have a, I think guys in this situation can be rewarded for having good seasons. I do too. You know, even if they're on a team like San Diego. Well, he should definitely be the Padres representative. If nothing else, if he should be the Padres else. representative. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so let's move on to second base. Who do you have for second base? 
Well, again, it's the it's, Cubs it, it, leading right the there. Cubs, but yeah. there's another guy who I love with okay, speed. Okay, let's see if it's the same guy. I and I bet you we have the, the same two. I have Zobrist as my starter. Yeah. I like Zobrist. But D. Gordon is the other one from Miami. D. Gordon from Miami. That, I don't yes. have D. Gordon on really? Miami on my list. Okay. I have Daniel Murphy from Washington. That, he's having a good year, 352. too. 352. Yes, he is. I don't, I'm not going to say anything else. Yeah. 352. He's the leading hitter in, America, in, in yeah. baseball. Yeah. Number one hitter in baseball in terms of batting average. I think that means you're an all-star. Whether or not you're the starter, right. probably Zobrist is the best all-around player there, though. Mm-hmm. Murphy is is hitting 41 points better than Zobris. He awesome, also has three more home runs yep. and has five more RBIs. So, so I mean, really, Murphy is the best overall player. An I advantage think... for Zobris because if he makes this team, he doesn't have to be locked in at second base. Yeah. The, whoever the coach is, um, who is that coach? The coach, the, the, coach. Yeah, Terry the Mets Collins coach. Yeah, the, Terry for, Collins um, the is National the coach League. of the National League. He can put him in the outfield. He can put yeah. him somewhere to put right. him in into the game. Yeah. So that might be a really good advantage yeah. of having him there for the All-Star. I do think that, you know, this is one of those cases where I think Zobrist is probably the best second baseman in the National League. Yes. I think he is. He's just not having the best season. So right. I also had LeMahieu from Colorado on my list. Yeah, he's surprising. Hitting 324. He only has four home runs and 25 RBIs, but he's yeah. hitting 324, which is pretty good. Um, so, uh, and I have a question about Colorado as we go forward here in just a minute, Absolutely. but, but, uh, <laughs> um, so, uh, second, so that's second base, uh, shortstop here in the national league. I, I really like the story of Trevor story, Trevor story from the, Ro- from the Rockies. Yeah, yeah. It's been, um, really nice to have that kind of story yeah, for the Rockies because they parted with their franchise player, yeah. which was Troy Tulowitzki. Yeah. They found this guy kind of out of nowhere, came up as their prospect yeah. and was really delivered. Yeah. It's, it's, it's really nice to see. I think he's, I have him as my number one also, yeah. Trevor Story from Colorado, only batting 264, but he has 18 home runs, 46 RBIs. Yeah, the you, story is terrific. Even in Colorado. Even in Colorado. Yeah, you got the numbers, you know. Um, other possible shortstops I had was Seager from L.A. Yeah. Um, and Cozart from Cincinnati. Yep. Both of whom are having decent seasons, but shortstop is actually a National League weak point. There isn't really Big anybody time. who's who's really There's the guy. Nothing there. You know, you would have said all those years Tulowitzki, yep. but of course he's gone he's now. Gone. He's in the American League. Um, so I mean, there's really no guy you point to. So I, I, if I had my druthers, I would take Story as yep. well. Uh, third base, Chris Bryant. I have Chris okay. Bryant from the Cubs from the being Cubs. over there. I've been a big fan of his ever yep. since he came up. It's been he's an exciting player to yes, watch. He is. Excellent Fan defensive favorite, player. Excellent defense. He's like the American League's equivalent to Manny Machado. Yeah, he is. Way. He is. He's a real gutsy player. Yeah. I didn't put him as my number one. Okay. This is one of those situations, again, where I chose probably the guy who's the best overall player as opposed to who's having the best season, or at yeah. least the guy who has some history. Um, you know, Chris Bryant is hitting 270, 17 home runs, which is very, very good, 48 yeah. RBIs. I put Matt Carpenter from St. Louis as my yeah. number one. Um, he's still batting 297, having a good season, 11 home runs, 43 RBIs. His OPS is... a is almost 100 points higher than Chris Bryant. So I had him as my number one um, over, over uh, Bryant. But I, I could go either way on that because Chris Bryant is an excellent player. Right. Um, I also had uh, Nolan Ariando from Colorado. So here's my question about Colorado. How could they be so crappy if they have all these great players on their team? Well, it's amazing what pitching really does do for it a team. It really does. Because if that, they have all these guys that are having great any seasons. If they remotely chance of, of contending, if they had a pitcher, they'd be a great yeah, team. Yeah, so, so we anyway. We didn't even get to Carlos Gonzalez yet uh, well, either. Yeah, we haven't got to Carlos. And he's he's in, and he's having a great season also. So, uh, get so some let's, pitching Colorado. Let's get some pitching Jeez, Colorado because it's going on out there. They, I mean, you know. Anyway, I just don't. I just I was Something I didn't realize it. It was a, when I started researching this. I'm like, wow, Colorado has all these great players. Like What's one, going two, on? Three. Yeah. Um, all right, outfield for the National League. I think one of them is is pretty obvious, but the rest. One of them is Bryce Harper. Bryce okay, Harper. There's your obvious play right there. The only thing with Bryce Harper is is. His, um, you know, his batting average isn't great, no. but his, his on-base percentage, he's got like like 57 walks yep. already this year. His, so his OPS is over 900 because of how often he gets on base. I think yep. he's got a 401 on-base percentage or something like that. The one that I looked at from fan voting that I was kind of almost in a way not disgusted, but like, come on, Cub, Dexter Fowler. Yeah. I, I don't I, see. I don't he, think he's not yeah. an all star. I think there are a lot of guys ahead of him. I'm not an all star. Yeah. I have Cespedes on my list. I have Cespedes on my list. That's also. your Mets representative. Yep. That's right there. He's having a very good very season. Very good. Two eighty four, eight, eighteen there, home runs. Yep. There. Nine thirty really, OPS. A lot of question marks after that yep. postseason run. He I had agree. He did hit. not do great in the postseason. Not great at all. So great to see there. Yep. Giancarlo Stanton is not having a very good he's year. He's not. He's not. not. But his name's still up there on the list. Really. Because I have um, another Miami not, outfielder. It, but not for me uh, to, to put ahead for the All-Star. I actually have Gonzalez there. Carlos okay, Gonzalez you have Carlos is, is Gonzalez as your third. I've always liked him. I like his, his just presence of Colorado uh-huh. in that lineup. That team. 
So here I had Bryce Harper in my starting three also, and yeah. Cespedes is my uh, and, uh, my other starter for the outfield in the National League is someone that takes people by surprise because of a little bit of his history. But I put Ryan Braun. Ryan oh, right. Braun is I having. Could, I could tem- definitely couple, make that There's case. a couple reasons. One, he's having a terrific season. Yes. 319. Uh, 12 home runs, 38 RBIs at 918 OPS. He's also your one Milwaukee guy. You know, so, so I mean, no one else from Milwaukee After is really good. After all the scrutiny that came from steroids and everything, exactly. and HGH with him, to yep. see him do what he's doing is pretty yep. good. Some of my backups, I had Gonzalez from Colorado. By the way, we're back to Colorado again. Yep. How could they be so lousy when they have I so know. many good players? Um, but And then my other two backups, so to speak, um, I did not take Giancarlo Stanton. I took another Miami outfielder, though, Marcel Uzuna. Okay. Marcelo Zuna, who is hitting 321 with 15 home runs and 43 RBIs. Those are better. the those are the numbers than, you expect better from, than Gonzalez from from from, from uh, Stanton. From Stanton. Those yeah. are the numbers you expect from Stanton. You do, and and you're not getting them from him. Ever since he got hit, I'm I'm just he's, he's had some issues. Yeah, and yeah. I'm a little worried about him. My other outfielder is Jay Bruce from Cincinnati. Going the same way, Cincinnati's got to send someone. It's not yeah. going to be Joey Votto. Could be Joey Votto, but right. probably not. So who's the next best player? You know, he's having the best season in Cincinnati, basically. Jay Bruce. Jay Bruce. So, okay. so that's why I put him in there. And he's still doing well. He's 282, 16 home runs, 55 yep. RBIs, um, and uh, 921 OPS. So, he's, so he absolutely fits in this group. Right. You know, we're not just kind of tossing him something. He absolutely fits in the group. Definitely. Catcher. Right now, it says it's Yadier Molina. Right. But I've always been a Buster Posey guy. Oh, okay. Always Buster a Buster Posey guy. I like him a lot. He just, he's just, that presence with the Giants is just something that I really like. I didn't put Buster Posey on my list, even okay. though he's obviously the best player on the Giants, yeah. in my opinion. And so he may have to be, in this season, he may have to be the Giants representative, though I have a mm-hmm. pitcher that might do that as well. Um, I, I was looking at, you know, Molina is not having a great season. He's not having a Molina season. Yep. He's hitting 265, only one homer, 24 RBIs. But yep. again, he's arguably the best catcher right. in the National League, and everyone knows it. Right. I put Wilson Ramos from Washington okay. as my guy. And the, the sole reason I, I just look at the stats 332, mm-hmm. you know, 11 home runs, 38 RBIs. I mean, he's having the best offensive season. He's not the defensive catcher Molina is. And right. obviously, with catcher more than really any other position except maybe shortstop. Mm-hmm. Defense is extremely important. No, I so like I, that. Think it's, I think it's a wash there. Um, but, I mean, you know, Molina, if you were to scratch out the name Yadier Molina and write in Bob Johnson, mm-hmm. he's not an all-star. Right. You know, 685 OPS is below average. It is. He's not an all-star if you scratch out the name Yadier Molina. Yeah. I think he makes it on reputation yep. as well as defensive ability and, yep. and all that. Um, I also had Jonathan Lucroy from Milwaukee as a possibility. He's, he's a, good, a person that's um, they said that season. could have some trade to uh, talk with. Yes, yes, absolutely. So that, he's that someone that they may part the with. For other um, teams too. Uh, I didn't do DH for National League because National League doesn't really have any DH. Nope. So let's check the, take the next best hitter and make him the DH. But pitching um, but is something But pitching, that's, pitching the National I League. I love National League. National League has so much great pitching. It's, it's great. It's, it's really not even fair. It's I not. think it's obvious who the starter is, but maybe not. Who do you have? Synagogue. Oh, you have Syndergaard, okay? So it's not obvious. I, I have Syndergaard. <laughs> I think that he is the ace of the Mets. Okay. I, I just love the fire that yeah. he has. He just he looks the part of a pitcher. He looks like he strikes the fear of God in you when sure. he gets to the mound and all. Yeah. But also, which you might also be debating on this, that's Madison Bumgarner. Yeah. He's the other one that's also atop that list who's excellent. I think I know who you're going to say. You know who I'm going to say. I'm going to say Kershaw. Okay. Really? Kershaw. Kershaw, okay. I'm going on two things. Okay. Well, three things. Yep. Rating Cy Young. Yep. Reputation. Yep. And the stats are off the charts. They are. His whip is .67. Yep. That means he allows two-thirds of a walk or a hit for every inning pitch. It is true. 141 strikeouts. And we're not even cl- close to halfway yet. And he's, of course, 1.5. Five seven ERA. Right. His stats blow me away. I have Cueto also on that list as a possible because of the San Francisco connection. That you can put Bumgarner. I think yeah. Cueto and Bumgarner, either one. Bumgarner yeah. is the one with the with the uh, with the stature because he's been there for so right. long. So maybe you go with Bumgarner. And I have Arietta from the Cubs also. Can't um, take away Max Scherzer either. And, and Scherzer is another one. I mean, Strasburg's been excellent. Yeah, I, I mean, mean the pitching in the National oh. League is so deep. This is why I think, and, and we're going to go with, and we're going to end uh, this half with uh, this question is based on who we got here, who do you think wins the All-Star game? Because this National year it League. counts. I, I mean, think the National League I think too. it's National League. I, the, the pitching is too deep. Yep. Even when the World Series comes around, yep. the pitching just overtakes anything. And think about this. You know, it's not even they're a only contest. Gonna, they're only going to pitch the starter two, maybe three innings of the most. But let's say two. So you're going to get Kershaw for two innings. You're going to yeah. get 
uh, Bumgarner for two innings. You're going to get oh, Arietta yeah, for two innings. Scherzer, You're going to get Scherzer whatever. for two innings. You're going to get, I mean, you just down the Syndergaard. Syndergaard for mean, two innings. I mean, you know, there's the game. <laughs> Forget done. about needing. You know, I mean, the that, relie- relie- relievers can stay home. Relievers I mean, can stay home because these, these guys, these guys. The, I agree. I think the National League, because of the pitching, I think the American League has the better offensive team. But yep. as we know, time and time again, pitching beats offense Absolutely. every single Absolutely. time. Absolutely. All right. Well, so those are our All Star predictions because we know this year it counts. Of course. I want does. the American League to win because I do think the Red Sox have a shot at the World Series this year. They certainly yeah. are a legitimate contender for the World Series. Yeah. And so you always want to have that home field advantage. You do. Uh, but I do think that the National League probably wins the All-Star game this year. That's my guess as well, too. Okay. Well, yeah. there we have it. Uh, we are out of time here on the big picture, believe it or not. Unbelievable. Yeah, we had a lot to talk about, a lot of guys to get through, a lot of stats thrown at you. For those of you who are stat geeks at home, there yep. we go. This is the show for you. All right. So my name is Kevin Vent. I am the host of The Big Picture. I thank you for tuning in and watching our ramblings about the All-Star Game. Right. Enjoy the All-Star Game as it comes up. It's the best professional All-Star Game, in my opinion, is the baseball All-Star it's Game because the, right the players way. actually try, yeah. and they actually, you know, as opposed to the hockey one, which is an abomination, and the basketball one, which is ridiculous, and the football one, which is an afterthought. Um, the baseball one is actually the best of the, of the All-Star Game. So That's enjoy right. the All-Star Game, and enjoy your July. We'll be back next month. Here with Nick Bass. Thank, thank you very you. much, Nick. You've been watching The Big Picture here on RCTV. Have a great day.